Welcome back to the epic Final Fantasy Let's Play. My name's Death Unites Us. Your name is something. That's probably awesome. And today we are going to a volcano to fight demons. Or something. I don't know. Fighting something. Uh, well, we're, we're fighting the fire. The fire demon whatever uh, hope you're all doing well I'm doing well I had a good week this week it's a good week I want to thank everyone who commented on the uh, the real talk episode um, a lot of kind words and uh, support on that episode so I really appreciate it um, things have been going better this week so uh that's all I got to say about that. Um, also, I was thinking while I was uh, booting up the game and saw the FMV with the the dragon in the beginning of the game. Uh, we haven't seen any dragons yet, you know. And I got that weapon that has uh, that does well against dragons. And uh, there's the FMV with the dragon, but we haven't seen a dragon yet. So, uh, you know get pretty hyped because there's dragons on the way that's our goal today our goal today is to find a dragon uh, and we're you know we're going to a volcano so you know it's probably a good chance probably a good chance of some some dargons alright so if I remember correctly If I remember correctly, um, how do I move? I know those. There we go. Um, I think, I think it's there. You know, what I just realized when you zoom in, you can actually see the. You can see the uh, the ports. I didn't notice that before. So that's helpful. Hmm. Alright, I think it was this way. Alright, uh, I need to load up some questions here while I'm fighting this shark. Uh, we, didn't, we didn't get too many questions this time, I don't think. Um, part of that's my fault, though, because I'm, I'm recording this a day after I uploaded the last episode. Um, I feel you, that episode. So, uh, I didn't really give you guys too much time to leave comments. So, uh, if you want to leave, if you want to leave questions on that episode, um, I'll, I'll answer them next time I record, which will be like three or four episodes after this. So, um, but for now, we can answer some of the questions on some of the older episodes. Uh, on one of the older episodes, Don Ekman asked... Um, as more character development made its way into Final Fantasy, each character had an exclusive weapon type. Whose weapon is your favorite? Which do you think is the least practical? And between the two, which is odd but probably effective, or, le or at least well suited to the character? Um, okay, so first part of that, uh, what is my favorite weapon type? Uh, two, uh, double daggers is my favorite weapon type. Um, not too many characters have used that. The only one that really comes to mind right now is Zidane. 
And I didn't really like Zidane that much, but I just, I like double daggers. That's just what I've always liked. Um, whenever I would, like, pretend play games in the backyard or whatever, I'd always have two daggers. So, um, yeah, that was always my favorite. Uh... Which do you think is least practical? That's a good question. Have to think about it. I know there's been some goofy weapons. Honestly, you know what I think is really unpractical, impractical? Um, hammers. Check it out, I'm in a canoe! I, I thought the canoe would actually just be used to cross the lake, but I can, like, go all the way through the lake, like, just ride the lake. So that's kind of cool. Um, but I always thought hammers were goofy. You know, like, like how, how are you going to kill someone with a hammer? <laughs> I mean, hammers hurt, yeah, but, like, just, just carrying around this giant hammer and, like, swinging it. Like, who, who couldn't dodge this giant hammer swing? Especially from, like, a fucking white mage. So I thought that was kind of goofy. And it's funny, because, like, it's not just these old ones, either. Like, uh, Final Fantasy XII had a hammer you could use. And I always made fun of my friend, because my, my friend and I um, played Final Fantasy XII together. And, uh, ooh, this is, this is different. There's canoe enemies and that's a fucking hydra which looks terrifying but really didn't do too much damage but then again he attacked mike that crocodile just hit 69 damage to mike what the hell was that shit seemed to have a lot of life too die motherfucker die so anyways, he, uh, we, we played the game together and I, I, I grabbed like a dagger or something at the beginning and he grabbed a hammer and I always made fun of him because he was running around hitting wolves with hammers because like one of the first enemies in the game were wolves. So you just see him running around hitting wolves with hammers and I'm like, bro, fucking PETA's gonna be on your shit because you're hitting wolves with hammers. It looks absolutely ridiculous. He's like, shut up man, it's the strongest weapon I have. It's, it's really funny. Uh, so yeah, the, the hammer is very impractical, I think. Um, and the next part of that question was... Uh, which is odd, but probably effective, or at least well-suited to the character? I'd have to go with the, uh, the fork that Quina uses in Final Fantasy IX. I always thought that was hilarious. Like, he's a chef, and he cooks, so give him a fork. And the thing, I mean, it, it looked kind of silly but it would hurt if he got stabbed by a giant fork and it fit his character very well because he was a chef so <laughs> so it, it, that weapon was always pretty fun um, when you talk about older games I don't hear anything about wild arms have you played it you know I had wild arms 3 I think it was the PS1 game with like four CDs in the case and I actually liked it but I it was I guess I only played it when I was younger, and it was too hard, and I didn't understand where to go, so I kind of gave up on it kind of quickly. But I'd, I'd love to go back and give that game like a, a real college try, you know? Because um, I did like it, it was fun, it had good music, it had good characters, the graphics were, were appealing. Um, I don't remember exactly what the fighting was like, but I remember it being fun. Um, but I just, I, the only one I had was three, and it, and I kind of played it and gave up on it. So I don't know much about Wild Arms. I know there was a fourth one. Um, I think it was also on PS1, or was that PS2 at that point? I'm not sure. And I think, I want to say that was it, but I could be wrong. There could be like a whole huge series of Wild Arm games that I have no idea about because I was never into it. Okay, uh, that's it for that question, so thank you, Don, for leaving that. Let's see what else we got here. 
Uh, Christopher Yates says, how many references to older FFs do you know in Final Fantasy IX? Uh, other than the obvious ones? Not much, actually. Um, wasn't there like a garland in Final Fantasy IX? I think there was. But other than like the obvious stuff like, uh, you know, Sid and Chocobos and... What the hell? That's an Ochu! Oh my god! It's an Ochu! That's hilarious! I didn't know Ochus were in the series since 1. That's pretty sweet. Um, well, eh, uh, man, this is scary. There's a lot of enemies. Um, why is Jen in the, the slot? I didn't even notice. Alright, you're gonna heal too. And the card you're gonna fire because Ochus are weak against fire. They always have been, they always will be. If this doesn't do a million damage, I'm gonna be pissed. 28? Come on, man. They really, they did something weird with weaknesses in this game. Either they don't exist, or, I don't know. It's weird. I, I don't like it. I don't have anything else besides fire. I need to get me some more spells, like... I need to get like Bolt 2 or Bolt 3 so I have something that isn't fire. There you go. See, I think I think maybe they're all just water type kind of deal. Like even though Ochu's a plant, he's in the water, so it's just water, so fire doesn't do shit, but Bolt does a lot of damage. That's my guess, but your guess is as good as mine. Zap. See, that did okay damage. Um. So, anyways, while we're finishing this fight, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know any, any Easter egg kind of deals in Final Fantasy IX, other than the obvious stuff that is in every Final Fantasy already. Um. But uh, hopefully, we you know when we get to Final Fantasy IX, I will have played Final Fantasy one through eight. So if I see any of that stuff, I'll, I'll pick it up then. we got. Okay, Jason Eastman has several more questions for me. Thank you, Jason, for leaving more questions. Let me heal up real quick here. And Mike's poisoned. Cards are going to die. I have a ton of heals now. It's really nice. I need some level 2 magic because I have like five of these sitting here and nothing to use them on. I got so many potions. Actually, I could probably use my map and see where the hell I'm going. If I could open it. Okay, let's see here. Looks like I have to go left. So that's useful. There it is. Is that a volcano? It doesn't really look like a volcano. Is that the volcano? Okay, uh, first question. Why don't you like my married date or dump questions? I don't know, man. They're freaking weird, man. What is this, like second grade? Talk about marrying, dating, and dumping? No, I don't really, I don't really mind them, but... <laughs> uh, they're kind of... I don't know. I... Just completely off topic. I think... Uh, I think I've, I've never had the same uh, enjoyment for animated characters as uh, as a lot of kids do growing up like you know you, you get like a fascination with with good-looking 
anime characters. But, uh... I don't know. Me, not as much. So, uh, I never thought about marrying, dating, or dumping any characters. Ice Cavern? I thought we were going to a damn volcano. What the fuck? And there's stairs. Is that to get out, I'm guessing? Alright. I guess maybe the ice cavern leads to the volcano? I don't know. Oh, this is terrifying. Absolutely not. Get my ass out of here. Oh, you better run. Okay. <laughs> that was bad. That, those cockatrices could just fucking stone the whole team game over. What's with the strange music in here, too? Like, it doesn't sound like a scary cave. It sounds like a fun adventure. Uh, but anyways, yeah, I don't know. I, I didn't I didn't seem to ever think about dating or dumping or marrying animated characters. At least maybe not for as long as some of the other some other kids did. Uh, what is your favorite let's play you have done before? Um, you know my my Doom let's play was a lot of fun. Um, even though it never got finished because computer issues. But, um, it was a lot of fun. It was, that was the one I did with the webcam. And, uh, I don't know, it, it was just, it, it was fun. I, I enjoyed that. And I, I grew up playing Doom, so uh, it was fun to relive Doom. Um, but honestly, I think, I think this is going to be my favorite. I mean, I, I'm having a lot of fun playing, playing this game, and, and I have a lot more people, uh, commenting and, and contributing to to what I'm doing. Um, it's a lot of fun to answer questions and uh, I could never do that on the Doom Let's Play because not as many people watch the Doom Let's Play for one and for two not many people commented on the Doom Let's Play they just kind of watched it. So I could have never really done the whole like ask me questions thing on that. Um, but th this is a lot of fun and I, I enjoy doing it. So I'd probably have to say this one, and, and this one's gonna last for freaking ever too. So, um, yeah, it and and I, not to put down any of my other let's plays. Like my Mega Man let's play was a ton of fun too, but um, that game just aggravated me. <laughs> All the Mega Man games kind of aggravated me a lot, just because of their difficulty. So uh, it it was still fun, and I enjoy hard games. That's why I play them. But, um, you know, it was more about me beating the games and not the actual Let's Play. So, uh, what is your favorite Let's Play series that you have not, or that you have seen, but not done yourself? Um, that would be, even though it's on our channel, it's not me, so it still counts. Uh, Mad Mike's Madden Let's Play. Um, because I don't, I enjoy football, like, football's okay, but I'm not, like, a super sports guy. You know, I like I, I've never even gone to an actual football game. I've watched football games ever since I was young with my family, but uh, I'm not I'm nowhere close to like a fan fanatic kind of guy. So I I, I I ooh mind flare. Those look terrifying. Those look like uh, the other enemies that I couldn't run away from. Uh, let's do both. One damage to a black mage. Wow, you must be weak as shit. Um, but anyway, so I'm not. I'm not totally into sports. Oh, that looks. Oh my god. What? What happened to Mike? What happened to Mike? What happened? What happened to Mike? He just, he just died. What the fuck was that? That was some, that was some fuck. We're never fighting those again. I have a damn auto kill. They kill my one tanky character. You gotta be kidding me. 
that was ridiculous. Okay, sorry, I keep getting uh, distracted. Um, I'm not much of a sports guy, but Mad Mike's Man and Let's Play is a ton of fun to watch, and uh, he makes it very entertaining, even for people who don't like football. And uh, it's it's just a lot of fun. It's really the only Let's Play right now that I watch, um, you know, every episode. So uh, so I, I I I know it's on our channel. So it sounds like I'm just trying to give you, uh, hey, come watch our stuff. But seriously, check out his Let's Play. It's it's a lot of fun. Uh, next, uh, if you could have any job in the world, what would it be? Uh, this one. No joke. <laughs> this is all I want to do. I want, I want this to be, I want this to, um, to get enough revenue to it that I can, I can pursue it full time, as I've said before. This is just a giant square. Did I just go in a giant square? I think I just went in a giant square. Um, I want to get this to enough revenue so I can do it for a living. This is all I want to do. And I've thought about it. Like, I'm not just saying, like, oh, this is fun. I want to do it. Like, I went to college. I got a degree in communications. Uh, I went originally to get a degree in computer science. Decided I didn't want to do that. Then I switched to communications. Then I looked for a communications job and couldn't find one. And I didn't really... Even the ones that I did find, I didn't really like that much. Um... But I couldn't get one anyways, because the market was oversaturated. So then I started my own company making websites for small businesses, and I sort of enjoyed that. But no matter where I've gone, no matter what I've done, no matter what... I mean, I made my own business, so I could have made it whatever I wanted it to be. And even with all of that, I still haven't found something that I would rather do than this. This is... This, what's, this is what gets me up in the morning. This is what I love to do. I love to talk with people, entertain people. What the hell? Um, so this is, this is what I want to do with my life. If, in, in, actually, um, when I was growing up, my uh, dream job was to be an author, and it's still a dream job of mine. But, um, so I guess, I mean, if, if you said, like, dream job, and not what I already do, like, if the question is, like, what's your dream job that, that's, like, totally crazy that you wouldn't be able to do otherwise, um, it would be to be an author. Um, I've always wanted to be an author. Why does everything in this fucking cave paralyze? It's so annoying. I guess it is the ice cave, it kind of makes sense. But, um, yeah, I've always wanted to be an author, and I've written several stories, most of which I haven't finished. Um, because I do other things, but if I could, like, be a millionaire tomorrow, and not have to worry about money ever again, I would probably do this and be an author, and that's what I would do for the rest of my life. I would write books, and I would do this. 